Yo, Whisky Given here. The number one question I get asked when I'm streaming is what are the best classes to use for nukes? So, in this video, I'm going to be going through all of the best class setups that I use on stream. So, hopefully, it help you improve, get some more deaptimizer strikes, and all that good stuff. So, the first things first, you want to have a look at this synaptic. Like, your specialist is one of the most important things. You want to be using the payload rewind and then you want to use the trait proportion. Now rewind, obviously that's going to help you if you're one hit, you rewind, it's going to send you back in time or some shit like that. It's going to give you your health back and then you'll be able to challenge kids. You want the proportion, obviously it's a jetpack game so you want to you want to make the most out of your jetpack. It's going to improve how much you can jetpack so why wouldn't you use it? That's the question I always say. But um, a lot of people have been saying rush down you move quicker. I've done a race against somewhere while I've been using Propulsion and I beat them. So I was like, what the hell's the point of using Rush Down? It's completely pointless, does nothing. The only good thing about it is if you're getting shot, you use it to kind of get out of the way, but it doesn't really throw the enemy's aim off. They'll be expecting it. So, like, I don't think it's too great. I'll definitely recommend Propulsion. Obviously, as well, you do damage to them if you jump on their head. So there's a little bonus. It's not really game breaking or anything. But um, I like it just so you can move around really fast. I mean, obviously, it makes it sound louder, but. I don't really care. So right, first class setup, the K-Bar. Now this K-Bar, this is my favourite gun. I've done these in order of rank, which is best and easiest to get nukes. So you've got the, the ELO, the stock, extended mag, quick draw and full grip. Now you're going to be seeing these attachments all throughout all the class setups basically. So obviously you've got the ELO, just makes your sights look nice and clean, there's nothing in your way. Then you've got the stock, that's going to allow you to move faster while you're ABSing. So you're going to be harder to hit because you can strafe side to side, it's pretty good, I really like it. Um, you've got the extended mags, obviously the K-Bar, a lot of people say it's already got inbuilt extended mags, but why wouldn't you want 64 bullets? It literally turns your assault rifle into an LMG, like it's so lit, I love it. You can get feeds for days of it, kill chains are just too easy with this gun. Now you've got quick draw, obviously you can get first shots on people. If you're getting first hits on, you're most likely going to get the kill unless they've got some godly connection, but you should be good. And then full grip, not a lot of people tend to use this, but I find it just makes the hit registration a lot better in the game. I don't know if it's actually true, but I don't know. Give it a go if you haven't already. Then next, we've got Dexterity. Helps you reload fast. So when you get a six piece, you can reload, get another six piece. That's why I love it. I'm a feeder at heart. And then we've got Scavenger. Obviously, you need that to pick up your bullets while you're going around getting kills. A lot of people tend to, um, I know, like Shawnee Dogs, he'd put something like Ghost there. And then he wouldn't use that. He'd put Dead Silence on because you've got the rewind. But... For me, I'm just spraying and praying. I like to save the rewind until I'm one hit and definitely need it. Now, right here, we've got the solar powered, exactly the same attachments, but the silencer. Now, the silencer on this, I just like the sound of it. To be honest, it keeps shots on the minimap, it's a bonus, but I just like the sound of it. <laughs> like, that's the genuinely the only reason. Obviously, everyone else is exactly the same reason, but I would definitely recommend this gun. It's absolutely godly. If you haven't seen my 86 kill TDM, definitely go check that out. Show you the playstyle you want to use with this gun. It's insane. Good up close, good at like across the map. So, it's just a godly weapon. If you don't have the nuke variant, then rip you buy those new supply drops then we've got the mv4 now this class setup is godly i've heard subscribers have been dropping nukes with this class setup so it's really good and you can trust using this to drop your nukes so i don't use full grip on the mv4 because it does have literally no recoil on this class setup i've got elo just to make it easier at those long distance ranges the the iron sights are nice and i've got another class in this episode where um, it doesn't have the elo, but this one, I just really like it. It makes hit detection so crispy. Like, you can snap on kids with this class. It's so good. And then, right, so the next one we're going to be... Um, no, the, the perks. On this one, I use blind eye. This is what I use against sweaty kids. If someone's sweating against me and they've got micro turrets and there's a chance of them getting shrieks, I'll use this class. It's really good. Um, scavenger, dexterity, same as normal. And, yeah, next class, RPR Fission. Now, this is sick for Frontier. This is a clash you want to use on Frontier. Don't need the full grip because I only use it on Frontier. There's no long range. You shouldn't be getting into long range gunfights on Frontier. You need to be flanking under the map. Pull it out. Obviously, on this class setup, we've got Dead Silence. Because you're flanking, you don't want to get sound hoard and then turned on. That's horrible. You just want to come up behind them and they won't even know you're there. And then you take them out with the silencer on, keep you off the mini map. It's lit. This is a sick class setup. Now, here's another one. This is another one that I like to use on Frontier. Now, you want to be using this in the spawns. You can genuinely spawn trap them. So there's a bit on Frontier where you can get them in the spawn trap and you genuinely just hold the trigger down this gun. It's so OP. Same perks as normal. Don't need a full grip on this if you um, burst fire it and just pull down on the analog stick to control the recoil. Really good, overpowered, underrated gun. So give it a try. That's a Mortal Ruin. Then we've got that OSAT. Now, there's two different class setups. My first original class setup was Silencer there. Um, but... After I felt like I was getting outgunned by K-Bars too much, so I decided to put full grip on. And then that was a game changer. It genuinely makes the, yeah, the gun have no recoil. If you get used to it without the full grip and then you put on a full grip, it just turns the gun godly. And then normal things here. So yeah, 
just remember the exclamation the explanation at the start it's all the same for all these classes well now we've got the type 2 a lot of people are saying this is a really good gun now but i still feel like it's really inconsistent like you get like bouncy hit like because the bullets bounce off walls and shit so you're going to get hit markers where it does less damage so you don't know how many shots people are actually going to need to kill i like the normal like bullets because you it's always a certain amount of bullets to kill unless you're shooting through a wall with this it could be eight hit markers if you're bouncing all of the bullets off the floor and off walls and stuff so yeah so we've got the um quick draw stock doesn't need full grip and then the silencer pretty nice class setup you could use it without the elo stick on um dead silence but i just like elo because I don't know, it just feels like my shots are just better. Now we've got the Mac Tavern. This gun's really underrated as well. Not many people use this. Um, you want Quick Draw, Silencer, Extended Mag. Which is the same as my RPR class, basically. But with another gun, it's just just changing it up. Most of the guns in Call of Duty, they're all exactly the same. Like, they all kill people. So you just use the same attachments and stuff. It's finding the attachment and perk combo for me. It's not the gun. You can use any gun in the game and do well with it. It's just finding the perks and attachments that work best. Of your playstyle, and this is what I found works best with me. Now, right, this is the second M4 class, so this is for when I'm absolutely slapping kids and I just want to dominate them. Now, the silence from this, it isn't necessarily needed. You could take that off and put on another perk. I just really like the sound of it. Again, like I'm a weirdo. I like the sound of my gun to sound cool. Like I don't know if anyone else does that, but I just love it. <laughs> so yeah, that's why I use silence on that gun. I am um, then quick draw stock extending mags for the feeds. And then dexterity, you don't need blind eye. This is for this is newbies. This is when you get that lobby, you see loads of level tens, you're like, yo, I'm pulling out this. And then right, the next class setup, this is just a random one. I went the common 45. I find this gun, it's really fun to use if you're going for nukes. You get so many bullets in a mag, so you can just get mad fees with this gun. And it's a pretty powerful gun to be honest. So yeah, same as my Ripper class setup and my uh what's it called the mac tab but anyway if you did find this video helpful definitely smash that like button if you are new to the channel as well be sure to subscribe and if you do end up getting some mad gameplays with these at me on twitter send me the gameplay on twitter like link it to me with my at and i'll be sure to watch it maybe if you get an absolute banger like a triple d out with one of these class setups i'll upload it for you give you a cheeky little shout out but anyway it's been the given and i'll see you in the next video or stream peace